Hi, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Elizabeth. I go by Honest Liz on the internet. Today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve those bouncy defined curls with the finger coiling method. Start with freshly washed, conditioned and detangled hair. We'll start with the Mirable Naturals Protein Cream as a base. Then use your foam for added slip during finger coiling and finish off with the flaxseed gel for long lasting hold. Take a small amount of the Mirable Naturals Protein Cream or you can use any protein cream of your choice and evenly distribute it throughout your hair focusing on the mid lengths to ends. I like using this cream because it provides your curls with moisture and strength thanks to its protein rich formula. Divide your hair into manageable sections using clips or hair ties. This will make the whole finger coiling process much easier and ensure that each curl is defined evenly. Use the brush tile technique and shaking each section after brushing. Focus on the bottom half. Avoid finger coiling in, the, in that bottom half area. Concentrate on the top half. This approach will save us time and en enhance the definition and volume. Now take a little bit of the Mirable Naturals foam or any foam of your choice and apply it to one section of your hair. The foam has excellent slip making it easier to finger coil each curl without causing any frizz or tangles. Finally apply the Mirable Naturals flaxseed gel to each coil to lock in the definition and provide long lasting hold. This gel is lightweight and won't leave your curls feeling crunchy or stiff. Once you finish the bottom half, we will begin the process for finger coiling for the top section. We'll start with the sides first, focusing this technique only for the top half, especially if you have bangs. After brushing that section, we will begin the finger coiling process. Start by applying a little amount of the foam to that small section before finger coiling to make this process smoother. Starting from the roots, take small sections of your hair and wrap them around your finger in a coil motion. Here you can observe how the brush tiling elongates my curls whereas finger coiling helps them bounce back up resulting in more evenly coiled curl clumps. Continue this process throughout the section until all of your curls are defined and coiled. Finger coiling may require a bit more effort but it offers superior results than any other technique for my coarse hair. Finger coiling provides long lasting results. So by carefully defining each curl, you can achieve maximum definition and bounce that will last for an entire week. After finger coiling each section, apply gel to lock in the moisture from the cream you applied earlier and maintain the structure achieved from the foam and finger coiling. Gel is to hold it all together. If you find that while scrunching, you, you notice frizz, don't scrunch. It's okay to not scrunch also. A lot of people have achieved good results without scrunching. The best time to finger coil your hair is when it's wet, either after washing or refreshing with water. This allows the products and your fingers to slip through the hair and define your curls more effectively. To work the top section, repeat the brush foam finger coil process. This part requires a slightly different approach compared to the sides. If you have bangs, need extra volume or you want to avoid flatness, focus on lifting this area upwards. Consider it as a mini arm workout. Pay close attention to the front-facing money pieces. 
If you are unsure which direction to coil or notice that the coiled curl looks a bit wonky or uneven, don't worry. Simply coil it in another direction. By carefully defining each curl, you achieve maximum definition and bounce that will last you possibly for the entire week. It's better to leave your curls untouched for the week rather than restyling or adding products to refresh your hair every day. It's one of the best reason why I prefer finger coiling my curls so I don't have to do anything to it during the week between my wash days. After finger coiling each section, remember to apply the gel to lock in the moisture from the cream you applied and to maintain the structure achieved from the foam finger coiling. The gel is to hold it all together, remember that. Since we styled on wet hair, remember to use a microfiber towel to remove excess water after styling. This tip will help you speed up your drying time and also your whole drying process. And there you have it, a simple and effective way to finger coil your curly hair using Mirabel natural products with the protein cream as base, foam for slip and the flaxseed gel for hold. You'll achieve beautiful defined curls that last.